Hey guys, it's Saturday morning, and I don't normally vlog on the weekends, but we are having a little visitor today, so I'm going to vlog some of that for you guys. I hope you guys are interested in that. Now, I mentioned this on Instagram, but I know not everybody follows me on Instagram, but we might be adopting a dog. He's around the same age as Star male of course his name is Odie and he is actually Mike's daughter's dog Mike's daughter had a baby um in March and she's finding it a little hard because she has three dogs two girls um her boyfriend's daughter is going to be coming to live with them I think and then she has the baby and the th three dogs and the cat and blah 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 and it's just hard she's small she's house hunting right now but she's in a really small house anyway that's her personal life i'm not going to get into it too much but because of circumstances um she might have to rehome the dogs well the the biggest dog ella will be going back to the people that she got it from so and then Odie, the male will be coming with us i'm not really sure what's going to go on with chloe but we can't take two dogs but Chloe's a Yorkie, so, um, anyway, Odie is going to come down for a little while today to spend some time with Star because we want to see how they're going to get along, so I thought I would show you guys that, and please, no negative comments about somebody rehoming their dog, she's doing the best thing that she can, and Mike and I will give it a loving home, give Odie a loving home, I love Odie anyway, because we dog sit for her when she goes away, and Odie's my little buddy, so, and I just, if, if it was anybody else, I probably wouldn't, because I'm still heartbroken over Cassie, but, I think we can give Odie a home. I think I'm okay with that. And I think Cassie would be okay with that. So I'm going to start crying again because I'm talking about my poor Cassie. I'm still, like I said, I'm still heartbroken. I still have days where I just break down and cry. I'll find one of her toys or something and I'll just cry. But it's not like we're going out shopping for another dog or going to the SPCA or anything like that. It's It's a family member's dog that we're willing to adopt and give a loving home to so let's just leave it at that because we could argue back and forth like you guys probably have your own opinions i have my own opinions people have opinions about people getting animals and then rehoming them i know that too i don't want to hear any of that because i don't want to hear any of that negativity i want to just think about the positive that odie will be going to a home that will love him and i think star he was down here for about a half hour one day last week and uh, him and star got along pretty good but charlene was here so we want to see how he's going to do if charlene's not around see if he listens to us and all that good stuff and <laughs> I, I'm not more worried about Star. I'm more worried about Tigger. Tigger's going to be the instigator in this situation. But anyway, I will show you guys Odie when he gets here. And, you know, I'll vlog some through the day. It'll be a little special vlog. Hey, guys, this is Odie. Hi, Odie. They'll be right back. Mike just went out to shut the windows in the our vehicle and he took Star. And Odie's, like, attached to Mike. He's following Mike everywhere. Odie. Odie! He peed on our rug in the living room. <laughs> Marking his territory. Where'd you go, Ode? Odie! They'll be back in a minute, Odie. Odie! <laughs> He's trying to get started to play. <laughs> you want to play? Odie. Odie, you want I gotta clean that so bad. You wanna play? Somebody's making himself right at home. Hey Star. Mommy's baby. You're still mommy's baby no matter what. Yeah, you're mommy's baby girl no matter what. Hi, 
buddy? Are you making yourself at home? Did Mike wash the blanket and put it down for you? We don't have any more doggy beds because we got rid of Cassie's beds. Aww. You look a little sad. I think you miss your other two dogs. Star, are you farting? You stinky. Star is tooting. I got one on each side of me. My baby girl. You're still my baby, though, Star. Oh, yes, you are. Gotta give you lots of attention. Going after the cat? Where are you going? I don't know where she's going. It's Sunday. Odie's still here. He spent the night. He had a sleepover. He had one accident on the floor overnight. But he's used to going out later in the night than Star goes out. So if he stays, we'll have to get him adjusted to the schedule that we have Star on, if we can. He's upset right now because Mike and Star went in the CAR to go to, well, Mike gets lottery tickets, so he went to check them. He's going to Tim's, and he's going to Shoppers Drug Mart, so he took Star with him, and so this little guy's upset. I don't know if it's because Mike's gone or if it's because Star's gone. Um, I really noticed that he plays off a of star. If Star barks at something, he barks at it. If Star's crying about something, he cries. So he plays off a of star's emotions a lot. Um, he slept pretty much outside of our bedroom door last night. Hey, Odie. But other than the one accident on the floor, well, he had... A couple accidents on this rug yesterday too, but I think he was marking his territory because we're not used to having a male dog. He is fixed though, but he's going to settle now and wait. He just jumped over the top of that love seat. I wish he wouldn't do that. He is a jumper for sure. Not used to that with Star because since Star injured her leg last January, she um, she's not jumping up. We have to lift her on our bed. She can jump off it okay, but we have to lift her up. But I really prefer her not to jump off either. If I can, I lift her off because she, um, if she slips on the floor, she's going to hurt herself. But anyway, that's another story. But yeah, he did pretty good other than the one accident. Because Mike took him out, oh, maybe like 5 to 8. And then that was the last time he took him out until 7 o'clock this morning. And he's not used to that. He, plus, he drank a pile of water when he came in. He should have been taken out again at 10 or 11 for another pee. But maybe we'll try that tonight. I don't know. But anyway, I thought I'd give you guys an update. Okay, guys, I got this at David's Tea. It is the Witchy Countdown. What I there's 10 different teas in here. I'm not going to do 10 days till Halloween because I don't feel like having tea every day. So, oh, this is Roman numerals. This is going to be fun. Um, I'm going to pick them every three days. So, today is the 3rd of October. So, this is going to be the first one. So, I'll have this later. What's that say? Pumpkin cream brulee. Well, that's creme brulee. It's pronounced. So this is pumpkin creme brulee. And I have a little um, tea diffuser. I'll make some of this later because Mike's getting me Tim's right now. But when I try it, I'll bring you guys along. All right, I'm using my tea and YouTube mug. And I'm trying to steep my tea. It's pumpkin creme brulee so it's in this here little owl guy so I'm just letting him steep and I made myself a grilled cheese sandwich for lunch so that's my lunch today I wish you would eat some food you're gonna go eat some of your food he hasn't eaten in the 24 hours that he's been here all right, this has been steeping for about five minutes. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be darker than that, but we're going to give it a try. Don't mind my hair, it's a mess, but here we go. Not bad. 
Not bad. And you're supposed to drink these ty type of teas with no milk or sugar in them because they're herbal teas and they're dessert teas. So I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's not bad. Okay, let's rate all the teas at a five. I would rate that maybe a three at a five. I can't wait to try some of the other ones. Um, I probably could have got two uses out of that, but I used a lot in there, so there was only like a little bit left, so I just tossed it because it's not enough to make another cup of tea. But, yeah, it's not bad. So, it's very sweet. You can taste the, um, I don't know if I can really taste the pumpkin, but I can taste like the creme brulee, the sweetness, a lot. So, very good, very good, very good. Hey guys, it's Sunday evening. We just finished having supper and dessert. Mike's gone with the dogs out for a walk. They're really good to go together. Um, Odie hasn't been eaten, so I don't know if it's a bit of depression or what, but um, Charlene told us not to change his food, but he actually ate some of Stars tonight, so he finally ate something. She said he has digestive issues, but then she just, she said he stinks when his food gets changed, but I'm willing to put up with that as long as he's eating something. And I know sometimes dogs can get, like, diarrhea and stuff like that when their food is changed around a little bit. But I'll deal with that, too, if I have to. So, he didn't pee in the house all day today. The only time he peed was the overnight thing because he's used to going out later. So, Mike got him out now. Um, Star will be going to bed when she comes back in. <laughs> Star likes to go to bed when it starts getting dark out. She basically wants to go to bed because she wants her cookies. Odie will probably take him out for a pee again around 10 o'clock or so and see how he does tonight. Um, we're just, we're really trying here, but if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Like the, the pets are getting along. That part's fine. And he's been really good all day. He whines when Mike leaves, though, especially if Mike and, and Star leave together. So that's why we've been walking them together. Because Plus, it's it's extra work. I took them this afternoon for their walk. Um, it's extra work if we have to take them on two separate walks, unless one of us took one and the other took the other. But Star doesn't have to be on the leash, so I go for a loop around the graveyard. And Odie stays on the leash, and Star just follows us but I had a bad shoulder um I don't know what I did to it I must have slept on it funny or something so my muscle back here is sore and when I walked Odie today he pulled on the leash and now my shoulder was getting better and now it's he might have pulled it like I don't think it's dislocated, but the muscle's sore back there, like really sore. So I'll put some biofreeze on it. Mike told me not to walk him for a couple days just until my arm is healed up completely. So I'll have to heal it up with some biofreeze and maybe get an Epsom salt bath tomorrow or something because that's good for your muscles too. So anyway, I thought I would check in. Like I said, I don't usually vlog on the weekends, but there's stuff going on, so I figured I'd share it with you guys, right? That's what vlogging is all about, to share you guys interesting things instead of just, I mean, I'm still home, but there's more interesting stuff going on. So anyway, I'm going to sign off for tonight, and maybe I won't vlog every day through the week this week, but I'll, I'll vlog the interesting stuff. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it is... Tuesday the 5th of October I didn't vlog yesterday I took a little break but I vlogged Saturday and Sunday so Odie's still here with us hey Odie um we were having issues okay we didn't think he was eating I think I explained this to you guys and we weren't sure what was going to happen with that whole situation because if he got depressed and wasn't eating we were going to have to send him back to Charlene um but I'm almost, I'm like 90% sure he was eating Star's kibble in the night when we were in bed. Because his bowel movements were regular and stuff. Like he didn't stop bowel movements. And if he didn't have anything in his belly, he wouldn't have had anything to move his bowels. So, um, and then yesterday, um, we were just kind of, and a dog will not starve itself. I know that's a fact. Like a dog, even if it gets depressed, if it gets hungry enough, it's going to eat usually. Although, I say usually because when I went to Alberta for a month, poor Cassie didn't barely eat anything the whole month that I was gone. 
she was small when I came back. I don't want to get into that because that was something my ex did. She wouldn't eat for him. She was depressed because I was gone. But anyway, like I said, we're not going to get into that because I'm going to start crying because I there's different little things that I feel guilt about with Cassie, like leaving her for a month. But I went to visit my family and I couldn't take her with me. So she wouldn't have, I don't think she would have survived the flight. She was older. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I have to stop beating myself up with guilt. But anyway, yeah, Odie last night in front of us, he started munching down at his bowl and Star's bowl. So he is eating in the nights. Um, he's doing very good. I've gotten up the last two mornings. I, you guys know I'm a diabetic, so I get up to usually get up to pee through the night. And uh, I got up at 5 o'clock the last two mornings. I'm like clockwork, I swear to God. I get up at the same times. So I took him out because the first night he was here, he had an accident on the floor. So I figure if I'm up anyway, I might as well take him out. It's not going to take long to give him, let him go out for a quick pee. And then I let Star out too. So there's been no more accidents. Um, the first day he was here, he did pee on the rug in the living room twice. But... I'm pretty sure he was just marking his territory, so that that was going to happen. That was bound to happen, and then overnight the one accident. But the last two nights, no accidents. So he's pretty much ours right now. Um, Charlene came down to visit him yesterday, which I don't know if that was a good idea or not. And she took her daughter down. So, but you know he didn't get crazy upset when they left. So. That's a good thing. He's really enjoying Star's company, and Star doesn't mind his company at all. And even Tigger, t at first Tigger arched up the back, and he kind of hissed and stuff. But now Tigger's calmed down, too. So they're all warming up to each other. So that's great. And, um, yeah, he's, he's just doing really well. So I wanted to update you guys on that. We do have to go out today for a little bit. And we took them for a drive yesterday. Um... Odie doesn't settle down in the car. He bounces all over the place and he's like up on the window. Do you guys know if there's anything you can get that is like a protector for like the doors on the cars? Because he's going to have the new car all scratched from putting his paws up on the window and Mike won't be happy. But yeah, he does. He bounces back and forth. Star just kind of lays there. So I don't know. But we went out the other day I, I think I told you guys this but we did go out the other day and left them home alone and uh, Star wasn't crying like she normally does because she has a buddy here with her now so that's good Mike's gone up to the barn right now just to kind of clean out the barn a little bit because we're going to put the barbecue away he said that like if we still had a nice day here and there and we wanted to barbecue he could just take it outside the barn barbecue and then put it back in we'll just do it like that not a big deal so yeah, we have to go out today, so I'm going to leave the dogs home alone and test them again. But we're not going for far or for long. We're just going to Sobeys, which is a grocery store for anybody that's not from Canada. And uh, I got to pick up a few things for Thanksgiving, which is Monday the 11th here in Canada. A lot of people have their turkey on Sundays, though. But I got to get, I have potatoes, but I got to get carrots and turnip. And Mike makes homemade stuffing, so no stovetop or anything. Got to make sure if we need savory or anything, because he uses savory. Um, I know I have onions. Uh, so carrots, turnip. I don't make cabbage with corn or with uh, turkey. And then, oh, okay. So we're having two Thanksgivings this year two dinners. We're going to my friend Krista's, Mike and I, on Sunday and having Thanksgiving dinner with them. And then Mike's making his turkey, our turkey on Monday. And I'm going to give, like, I think my mom's coming over. So, so for up Krista's, I got to get, like, or maybe for here too, I got to get an apple pie and ice cream. Because it's, we don't, I don't like pumpkin pie. I like pumpkin spice and stuff like that, but I don't like pump, I don't know, I just... I can't sit down and eat pumpkin pie. I don't like it. It's not my... Well, I, I have eaten it before, but it's not my favorite is what I should say. i just rather warm apple pie and ice cream. Apple pie a la mode. So, yeah, we're going to run to Sobeys and pick up that stuff. So, then we'll have that stuff ready to go. 
And I got steaks marinating. That's what we're having for supper tonight. So yeah, I'm just slow my PJs. But I'm just having a day today. So anyway, I thought I would update you guys on what's going on. If, if anything more exciting happens today, I'll talk to you guys. And if not, I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Okay, today is the 6th. I apologize, Mike's vacuuming. So we're going to take day 2 on the 6th. So we got witch's brew. Looks like this. So I'll try this in a little bit. Hey guys, so I am going to make my tea. My um, herbal tea. So I've been using this mug because I'm probably going to watch a YouTube video while I'm drinking it. So... Let's get this started. I don't know what you guys will be able to see and what you won't be able to see. If I put this down here. Here's this. Okay. That's pretty good. Here's my little mesh thingy. And I'm going to open it up. And where the tea goes? Right here. Again, it looks like these. Smells like chocolate. I'm going to turn on the Keurig. While I'm waiting to let the water warm up. I'm going to do this and try not to make a mess. I know I'm not doing it down in frame. Sorry, guys. I can probably get two cups out of this by the looks of it. So see, I still have this much left. And my little mesh bowl is full of my tea. So I'm going to put it in here. Put this on. <laughs> and we're going to stick it here on my Keurig. Okay, so once the Keurig heats up, I'm going to let it steep, and then I will taste test it with you guys. All right, my tea is steeping. It smells like chocolate. It's called Witch's Brew. I think there is cocoa in it or something. So we'll let that steep a little bit more. Okay, guys, I think this is steeped enough. I'll give you a look here. And we're going to do a taste test. I'm going to lay these down for a minute because i got to... Okay, I had to flip the owl around to the other side. Ocean, 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 settle down. It tastes like water. Maybe it didn't steep enough. I have a slight chocolate taste. All right, I'm going to let that steep a few more minutes and then I'll come back and give you guys my opinion. All right, let's give this a try again. They're dessert tea, so they're not supposed to be really strong. I just ate a cookie, though, so my, my mouth might be a little sweet. It's not bad. It's not the best tea I've ever had. I'll give it, I'm going to have to give this one a 3 out of 5 too. Nothing's blowing my socks away yet, but I've only, we're only two in, so we have eight teas, and apparently there's eight teas and two bags of candy in that calendar, so that might be better, you know, that might be better as a cold brew. I don't know. Maybe next time I'll try it as a cold brew, but three out of five for that one hey guys i know it's noisy i apologize my ear conditioning unit is on back there it's really it was warm out today so i find it a little warm in here so i just put away my what's it called something beach blanket beachfront blanket uh 
triple moisture body cream. Well, that's what they used to be called. I don't think they're called that now. And I put away my coconut colada because they're more summer scents. I'm still using this though, even though it's a coconut scent. But I've been alternating between that and perfumes. But I'm going to take out my coconut candy apple. They're not called, okay, they're called 24 hour moisture ultimate hydrating body cream that's what they're called now so i'm taking out that and the spray so i'm alternating out my scents but because i'm using the shower gel that goes with this but i figured since this is coconut apple and this is coconut i can mix those scents because it's all coconut it's all coconuts <laughs> so that's what i just did i'm gonna put these in here i still have my hemp lotion out here though the um What's it called? Because Mike uses this too. There's still quite a bit left in here because we've been using, I've been using different stuff over the summer. But this is the sweet pineapple. Sweet pineapple and honey melon. Love this scent. It's more of a summer scent, but sometimes I just put it on my elbows because it's light. And I'm almost done of my moisturizer that I'm currently using, which is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. This I will probably repurchase when I'm out of, well, I don't know if I'll ever be out of moisturizer because of BoxyCharm, but yeah, that's what I just did. I know it's loud in here because of that, but it is what it is. I can't help it. I need to stay cool. <laughs> I'll leave it on for a little while. I don't sleep with that on though. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys when something a little more exciting is happening. Well, nothing will be tonight, so I'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Friday morning. I'm just sitting down having a tea from Tim Hortons and I was going through my footage for this week. I think I'm going to end this vlog here right now and upload it and have it ready for tomorrow. It's been a long footage. Most of it's talking about Odie and just me talking. I didn't do much this week. We've been in the house all week. Do have to go out later this afternoon. Have to get savory and oxo i think oxo packets are out an oxo cube just for like thanksgiving stuff so i have to go out and do that this afternoon so that's pretty much all we're doing today we're not really doing much um i might go down to ocean i might go down to where my grandmother's house where cassie is buried because there's an apple tree there sorry i had like a little piece of egg on me I had an egg sandwich, breakfast sandwich. Um, I'm sloppy. Um, yeah, um, where Cassie's buried, there's an apple tree. It's a crab apple tree. It's not regular apples. But I'm going to try to make applesauce, I think, for Thanksgiving. So if I do do that, if I decide to do it, do do that, then maybe I'll vlog the process and show you guys. Um, my friend made crab uh, uh, apple jam with crab apples and I, I was like I don't know if I'll eat that because she, she gave a jar to Mike but they took a spoonful of it and told me to try it and I tried it and it's actually pretty good it's, it was sweet it wasn't like I was expecting it to be really sour because of crab apples right but so I think I'm going to try that I think so anyway I'm going to end this vlog here and have it edited and upload it and like I said, if I'm doing anything interesting over the weekend, I'll definitely vlog it for you guys. So I hope you guys are having a great week, or I hope you've had a great week. I hope you guys have a great weekend. For anybody here in Canada, happy Thanksgiving weekend. Stay safe and enjoy. Enjoy your turkey and, or ham, whatever you, because I know some people don't eat turkey. Um, yeah, so enjoy your weekend and stay safe. So I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye, everyone.